Like, think about it. Like, logically think about it. Does it not feel like a scam? You know, at the end of the day, what you're trying to bridge here is the bridge of trust. Is this you right now? Is your store looking like this? Like, you're probably using the Dawn theme, right? The free Dawn theme. Adding, you know, free shipping on all orders, 50% off on all the products and saying that's a sale. Are you guys doing this? Are you guys adding, you know, like, GIFs in every single freaking uh, web page or the product page? And you guys are just adding descriptors but not actually understanding and utilizing the pain of your client because at the end of the day i know you guys are doing this i know all of you 99 percent of you are probably doing this and this is why you're not making any sales and you know the the other underlying factor of this entire video is just the idea of reviews okay like do you really think a customer is that fucking stupid to believe that if you have five five star reviews on all your products 13 reviews they're gonna buy it. Like, think about it. Like, logically think about it. Does it not feel like a scam? You know, at the end of the day, what you're trying to bridge here is the bridge of trust between you and the customer and the client. Like, how much do they trust you to put in their car to buy your product? You know, the reason why no one buys from you is because it's not only because you have bad reviews or not bad reviews, but less reviews, but also at the same time, your reviews seem too, too good to be true. You know, too good to be true, people are not gonna buy it. Like, you know, this FAQ, you know, that's cool and great, but people have seen this time and time again. We call this audience slash ad fatigue in terms of just the marketing funnel, but overall, like it's nothing new. And if it's nothing new, it doesn't really help you. Like, look at this, like guys, like really, really, really. Choose your favorite light style, created by hand with top quality crap. Really, really, you think someone will believe you. The, the ideal gift to make someone say, like, you guys have to logically think like how can i you know allow this customer not to be skeptical about the thing that i'm selling because if you guys really want to win if you guys really want to be different do something fucking different you guys are all doing the same shit so this is why you guys are not making sales so i have this product here obviously it's a different niche different pain points different things you can add but as you can see even just in the first you know just by, by the title right 4.8 out of 5 reason why you would say 4.8 instead of 5 out of 5 is because you're not a scam. You're actually legit. People will actually hate your shit and people will actually like your shit. Because logically, right, if you look at Amazon reviews, right, in general, they will have a negative review. Like, it doesn't make sense why you would not have a negative review. Right? So what they're doing here is talking about all the pain points of directly of what they're doing with their clients. So for instance, right, if we go by the first title here, natural pain relief, no harsh pain colors. Like this, this, this is an angle guys. Like if um, your client, like I'm guessing in this niche is that people hate using painkillers. That's why they like the word natural. You know, you have to figure this out on your own, but you have to understand your client to that detail if that makes sense. But what really matters is the reviews. So again, let's make a comparison here. Different niches, different products, but obviously you guys are still both businesses, so this can still be utilized. So 13 reviews versus 13,000. Who do you think they trust more? Obviously this one, right? And this is a branded product as well. And they also have real legitimate reviews. Like they actually look legit. Like they look legit. Like, does this look legit? Like, look, shopper. Like guys, like do you think someone's gonna be that dumb to believe that this is these are real reviews? Cause at this point, you guys have to understand that in 2023 and 2024, right? The buying cycle of a buyer, psychologically, they've been already trained and adapted to the point where they can see it's a dropshipping store versus they can see whether it's a real legitimate store. You guys have to understand that. Like, anyways, I'm ranting too much. Let me give you the tactical idea of how to actually fix this problem so that you can not fall into this trap. So the idea is that you locally can go out of your house, go out of your house, go get real reviews, buy the product, like buy whatever product you have that you're selling, that you believe that solves a big pain point and go around your local community and find real people for real reviews. So for instance, right? Like if I was selling a dog leash or whatever, right? Just be like, Go out to the park in the morning and be like, hey, I'm selling a dog dog leash. Like you just walk to people. Like, 
hey, I'm selling a dog leash. And the thing is, I don't want you to buy it. What I want you to do is give me a referral or give me a review or testimonial in, in compensation of me giving this for free. People will usually say yes. And what you can do is utilize that traffic that you have around you to expand the social proof and trust awareness on your website. If you don't psychologically understand how that behavior works, that is how human behavior works. And you know, for me, if I were to build a website like this, I would do it in reverse. I would show the reviews and the trust before I sell the product and ask for the ask. Cause you guys are thinking too much in terms of formulaic ways. And that's why you're not winning in this game. And I understand where it comes from. Cause I used to be like that as well. So if you found that video very informative, very useful for your business, check out this other video I made here. It's going to be the first link in the description.